Hello, it's Michael again here at Lone Star Mushrooms and today in this video we're going to talk about when to harvest your blue oyster mushroom uh, grow kit. So uh, first step we want to look at is to be careful that we don't harvest too soon or harvest too late. If we harvest too soon what we're going to do is reduce the amount of yield that we're going to get from the mushrooms and if we harvest too late you're actually going to reduce the shelf life uh, of the mushroom in your refrigerator. So if you see here on this block that the grow kit, how uh, the caps are still turned down, this one has about another 12 hours to go. As you notice already that they grow pretty fast, so we want to make sure that we pay attention in that last day of growing. As you see on this other block, the caps are opened up and probably underneath the block itself, you're going to see a fine white powder. That's actually the mushroom spores uh, that are releasing from the mushroom. And there is a good indicator that your mushrooms are ready to harvest. So when it comes time to do that, what you want to do is put your hand between the mushroom and the block and then you're just going to pop it off as one giant cluster. We don't want to cut pieces off of it because what we're going to do is let the others grow and then again you're going to ruin your shelf life in the fridge. So just go ahead and plop that off in one big cluster and then after doing so you're going to take a little bit of substrate with the mushrooms, just cut that off with a clean knife and then store it in your fridge. As far as the block goes, now that you've harvested the mushrooms from it, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, we can try to get a second flush out of it. More times than not, people are able to. And to do that, all you have to do is just keep misting it like you have been over the last eight days. The couple things to keep in mind is that it's going to take a little bit longer than the first round. It should take a few more days than, than the previous flush. Also, your yields are going to be about as half as much as it was this last time. Some folks can do this two, three, four, five times to get the flush, continual flushes out of the kit. And at some point, it'll be not worth the uh, effort, I guess you could say. And when you get to that point, all you can do is simply dispose of the block, or you can remove the plastic around the kit and then put it in your compost or add it to your garden. I've even had some people put it in the backyard uh, around some dead brush, and months later, they've actually had blue oysters growing in their backyard. As far as storing your mushrooms, what you want to do is put it in your fridge. You can put it in a container. Just don't seal the mushrooms off. Uh, so I would recommend covering the container with a paper towel. If you do have a paper bag, that's actually the best way to store your mushrooms. And it should keep it in your fridge for about the next 10 days. As far as cooking with your blue oyster mushrooms, they're extremely versatile. So anything you do with the white button, you can do with these. Uh, they're just a much better flavor and a much better texture. So anywhere from mushroom risotto, put it in an omelet, put it in a casserole, smother a steak with it. Uh, you have a lot of options uh, when it comes to the blue oyster mushrooms. If you want some recipe ideas, you can go to LoneStarMushrooms.com. There's a Pinterest button. Click on that and you'll have a whole ton of recipes to, uh, to choose from on our website. And that concludes the process of the blue oyster mushroom grow kit. If you enjoy this, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a review on our website, LoneStarMushrooms.com. If you've taken some awesome pictures, please share those on our Instagram or tag us on Instagram at LoneStarMushrooms. And then also, if you want to try a new kit, we do have the Lion's Mane Mushroom Grow Kit and also the Pink Oyster Mushroom Grow Kit, which you can find on our website as well. So thank you so much for supporting our family-owned and operated business. Thank you.